Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. If you don't know me, I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today I am going to discuss about an electrical component called as Transformer Rectifier Unit or TRU. Okay, so let's start the topic. Transformer Rectifier Rectifier unit. T R U. So, what is a T R U basically? This T R U, which I am going to discuss, is a combination of a three-phase transformer and a three-phase rectifier. Both of the three-phase transformer and the three-phase rectifier are enclosed within a single casing but they are placed in two separate sections for which I'll show you the diagram this one okay friends so let's start so, as the name says transformer rectifier it is a combination of a three-phase transformer and a three-phase rectifier and before we proceed just note two things first point the input to this TRU which I'm going to explain is 200 volt 400 Hertz three-phase AC and the output of 26 volt DC input input is 200 volt AC 400 Hertz and three phase and output is 26 volt DC okay friends let's start here so let's start first with the transformer part then I'll Go ahead with the rectifier. So we know that friends in a transformer there is a primary winding and a secondary winding. Primary winding of this transformer is of three phase star connection type. Okay, so I'll draw here. So this is one of the winding. The other winding I'm drawing here. And the other winding is here. Okay. So this is the primary winding of the transformer. So from here the input is given. How much? 200 volt, 400 hertz, 3 phase AC. Okay, so from here the input is given. These are the input terminals. So this is the primary winding primary winding okay next what we have is the secondary winding secondary winding consists of two windings okay so, so let me draw here so suppose there's one of the windings of the secondary winding two and three okay so this is one of the secondary winding and the other secondary winding is here the other secondary winding is of delta connection type so delta connection it looks like this and the windings are here and the terminals are taken from here so this is one of the terminal this is another terminal which I am drawing it here and this is the other terminal three these are the terminals okay so this is the secondary winding these two this one and this one they are the secondary winding secondary winding so this is secondary and this is primary okay so the primary winding is here and secondary winding is here so whole of this is the transformer so this is transformer okay so the dashed lines enclose the transformer in this schematic next as I have told you it has a transformer and a 
rectifier note that friends the rectifier here is of three phase bridge rectifier type which is made of six silicon diode okay i repeat again a single three phase bridge rectifier is made of six silicon diodes so there are two three phase bridge rectifier one for the first secondary winding and the other one for the second type of secondary winding okay so i'll draw here suppose this is one of the bridge rectifier this is so two silicon diodes three four five and six so there are how many silicon diodes here six silicon diodes we know well friends the silicon diode is the most preferable diode so hence it is preferred over here in this three phase bridge rectifier another three phase bridge rectifier i am drawing it here i'll just erase this terminal and i'll extend it later this is one of the silicon diode this is another three four five and six so i'll just shade it So you can see friends I have drawn all the six silicon diodes. So this is one of the bridge rectifier and this is the other bridge rectifier. Now as we should know that the output of the transformer is taken from its secondary winding. So these two are the secondary windings. Their output is AC. So that AC output is given to these rectifiers to get the DC. So how is the connection done? So this terminal will be connected. I'll just extend will be connected here. So this has been connected and this terminal I am extending and connecting it to the other point. And this third connect connection I am extending it and I am connecting it here. So this has been connected here the other winding has been connected here in between these two diodes and third winding has been connected here in between these two diodes this is how the connection is done for the bridge rectifier and of course the terminals are here this is one terminal and this is another terminal i'll extend them down here so we have two terminals here likewise on this side let's do the connection so for the other secondary winding the connection is how is it done this will be connected here in between these two silicon diodes this again I'll extend and I'll connect it here in between these two silicon diodes and the third connection which is here I'll extend it and I'll connect here in between these two silicon diodes so this is how the connections are done for the bridge rectifier so this is one of the terminal and this is the other terminal of this bridge rectifier so this is how the connections are done for the bridge rectifiers. So now there are two terminals always in DC. One is positive and one is negative. We know friends that current always flows from positive towards negative. So the current flow in this is happening in this direction. Right. So when the current flow is happening in this direction, it will go down like this. That means this side is positive and this side is negative. Okay. So this side is positive this side is negative so likewise this side when the current is flowing like this it will go like this so this side is positive this side is negative so this side comes positive and it flows like this it is this side is negative okay so now friends i'll connect both the positive terminals and both the negative terminals so that we get only two terminals for the dc output to be taken so this negative terminal i'll connect with this so connecting it with the negative terminal so both the negative terminal has been connected so both the negative terminal has been connected and i'll take the connection here okay friends and this positive and this positive i'll connect i'll just i'll jump over to this connection and i'll extend and i'll just erase this and this is positive so this positive has been extended so this is positive this is negative 
right so here from here we can take the output but friends to measure the output current of this uh, transformer rectifier unit what we do is we connect an ammeter so to connect an ammeter we have a shunt over here suppose this is the shunt what is ammeter shunt it is a shunt shunt is a low resistance device so the current will flow here and the whole of the current will be indicated by the ammeter before it goes into the load so this is positive this is negative and so here we get positive and this is a negative so from here this is the main source main source okay friends next when the device is in operation when the transformer rectifier unit is in operation it may get heated up okay so for that thermal switches are mounted here suppose this is one of the thermal switch one point here another point here and for the rectifier part this is one of the connector and the other connector is here okay suppose this is positive positive negative negative so this two are connected together and these two this connection so i'll draw a contact in between like this right now it is open i'll draw a contact in between these two contact points this is open okay and this other terminal this one this terminal and this terminal are connected so i'll connect them okay and this circuit gets supply from the external dc bus a separate dc bus is there from where it will get the supply so this is positive and this is negative now see positive one are connected together and negative ones are connected together so this is negative this is positive these two connection points get supply from external dc bus okay friends so now the supply is going to this circuit but since the circuit is not closed okay no indications will appear now where are the indication this indication is given to warning lamps warning lamps this supply is given to warning lamps okay when suppose when the transfer rectifier unit is in operation and the transfer part gets heated up then this thermal switch it will get closed like this when it closes it will give indication via the warning lamp okay and that's how we'll get to know that the transfer part has been heated up the temperature values are around 150 degree celsius for the transfer part to get heated up and give the warning indication likewise for rectifier part this three phase bridge rectifier part if during operation it gets heated up this th thermal switch will close and it will give indications via these warning lamps okay friends so that is about the thermal switches which give indications of overheat whenever the transformer or rectifier part get heated up on reaching temperature of 150 and 200 degree celsius respectively so friends i hope you are clear with the construction of the transformer rectifier unit it has a transformer and a rectifier okay the transformer consists of a primary winding and secondary windings in the secondary winding we are having one star connected and one delta connected now these secondary windings from there the connections are given to the two three phase bridge rectifier so this is the bridge rectifier this is also a bridge rectifier bridge rectifier okay it is a three phase bridge rectifier so this is also a three phase bridge rectifier bridge rectifier and then from the rectifier the output is taken how is it taken uh, the positive of this rectifier is connected with the positive of the other rectifier both of them are taken here and the negative terminal and the negative terminal of both the bridge rectifier are connected together and taken out as a point or as a terminal over here and this is how we get the negative and positive terminals now before we take the supply you want to, if you want to measure it obviously we connect an ammeter for that a shunt has been connected here what is this this small part is the shunt ammeter shunt shunt is a low resistance device okay why is it there so that the current will follow the low resistance path and whatever is to be indicated it will be indicated on the indicator that is the 
magnitude of current will be indicated here in the ammeter and via the ammeter the supply will be going to the load so we can get to know how much current is going to the load that means these two terminals will act as the main source of this whole unit to deliver the current to the consumer equipments and how much current is going can we get to know yes by means of this ammeter so this is all about the construction of uh, transformer rectifier unit so now we will learn about the working principle of transformer rectifier unit how does it work initially when we give it 200 volt 400 hertz three phase ac supply to the primary winding so what will happen since it is a three phase supply so the alternating current will be producing a moving mm -hmm. and rotating so that rotating magnetic field will be cutting the windings of secondary winding and it will produce an emf which will cause the current to flow so now the current is flowing from here like this from the secondary winding it is coming and it is going to this bridge rectifier so likewise on this side the current is coming like this and it is going to this bridge rectifier so when the current comes here it comes here and then what does the rectifier do we know well friends rectifier converts ac to dc so whatever ac is coming here this ac this ac it will be rectified by means of this okay and when it is rectified it produces dc so for that dc we have positive terminal and a negative terminal so likewise on the other side when the emf is induced causing the current to flow that current will be given to this bridge rectifier and this current goes to this rectifiers and the rectifier used to convert it into dc so this ac which is coming from the secondary winding of transformer will be converted to dc by means of the bridge rectifier so we get a positive terminal and a negative terminal here so that positive terminal and negative terminal okay are the source of dc now so what we do now we connect both the positive terminals and both the negative terminal this negative and this negative of both the uh, bridge rectifiers are connected and positive and positive are connected together to bring out the dc supply so this dc supply is given to the ammeter and ammeter indicates the magnitude of current which will be flowing to the loads via this two terminals so here in the terminals we get 26 volt dc so friends this is about the transfer rectifier unit and i will show you the picture of a transfer rectifier how does it look like see this so friends i hope you are clear with the transformer rectifier unit its construction and working its input and output so i'll just summarize the topic the transformer rectifier unit has a transformer part and rectifier part in this what we have studied it has a primary a star connected primary winding and a star and delta connected secondary windings uh, input is given to the primary winding that input a, uh, is the ac three phase ac which produces a rotating magnetic field that rotating magnetic field cuts these secondary windings okay and because of which emf is induced in these secondary windings that emf produces current that current is given to the bridge rectifiers and the bridge rectifiers they produce dc and that dc is collected at the terminals so the output terminals of both the uh, rectifiers the positive terminals of both the rectifiers and negative terminals of both the rectifiers are connected together to bring out the output terminals to measure the output current what we studied is we connect an ammeter and to monitor the temperature of the device we have thermal switches for the transformer part and rectifier part we have thermal switches when the temperature gets increased and the device gets overheated that time these thermal switches close and give the warnings this circuit is operated by a separate supply which is given from an external dc bus bar and that's all what we have learned so i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then enjoy learning this and thank you how this ridge rectifier is converting ac to dc i'll discuss it in my some other session